Hello, dear traders, this is Economic Calendar from InstaForex TV with me, Marina Generalova. Early next week, markets will light the following macroeconomic events. On Tuesday, China is going to announce data on the economic growth in the third quarter. Economists anticipate the Chinese GDP to rise by 7.2%. During the previous three months, China's GDP grew by 7.5% year over year. It was a bit higher than analysts forecast for an increase of 7.4%. In the accompanying report, it was noted that the economy had good momentum in the first quarter for stable and moderate growth. On the other hand, there is still a lot of problems, especially due to the complexity of both domestic and foreign economic environments. Also, on Tuesday, the United States will release a report on existing home sales in September. According to forecast, the indicator is expected to edge up slightly to 5.09 million units. A month earlier, the U.S. existing home sales fell by 1.8% compared to the previous month to 5.05 million houses. At the same time, experts had estimated an upswing of 1% to 5.2 million. The reason for the difference between the prediction and the actual reading was that the share of investors among buyers was only 12%, which was the lowest level since late 2009. Thus, the drop in sales was caused mainly by the investors who left the market. Meanwhile, the Australian Bureau of Statistics is set to report on consumer price inflation in the third quarter on Wednesday. It is expected to slow to 2.3% compared to the previous three months. In the second quarter, consumer prices in Australia climbed by 3%, that was in line with expectations. Prices for alcohol and tobacco grew the most, having added 7.1%. On a quarterly basis, inflation was 0.5%, down from the previous quarter figure. In July-September, it is also expected to cool down to 0.4%. Apart from the above events, some other indicators will be released on Monday through Wednesday. On Monday, Bundesbank will release its monthly economic report. Tuesday, the Reserve Bank of Australia is set to publish monetary policy meeting minutes. China will report on industrial production and the National Statistical Bureau will hold a press conference. On Wednesday, the Bank of England will release the Monetary Policy Committee meeting minutes. A retail sales report is on tap in Canada. The US will print inflation statistics. In addition, the Bank of Canada is going to publish a monetary policy report to reveal its decision on the key interest rate and to hold a news conference. It was InstaForex Calendar with me, Marina Generalova. Goodbye and have a great day!